what might comprise a funding strategy? Well, the first thing I want to ask is, should you even raise money? Is this something that even makes sense for you? Now, I want to ask immediately here, is there anybody here who's not interested in raising money? Good, you're in the right class. OK. But is there anybody who is questioning whether they should raise money? Lots of people. OK, let's get a couple of hands. I'm going to go all the way to the back to start off with. Go ahead. Can you tell us why you're not thinking about raising money? Accountability. Accountability. OK, so you're not comfortable with that. Uh, then we had somebody a little couple of rows ahead of you who wasn't sure. Go ahead. I think somebody, I couldn't see who it was. I just saw a hand. Well, anybody else wanted to raise their hand? So accountability is one answer. Who else did not want to raise money or was not sure about it? Go ahead. Losing ownership. Losing ownership. OK. So let's, that's a really important one I hear a lot. Let's get a couple of these down. Now, did you mean it in the equity sense, or did you also mean it in the control sense of like losing ownership of your business? Both. OK. So I also hear that a lot, too. These are usually the things that people are afraid to ask, so we're already getting somewhere. Um, let me make sure I drill into the accountability one, too, for a second. What did you mean by that? Lady at the back. Well, you have to, if you're going to try to raise money, you have to be, you know, say exactly what you're going to be using it for and you know, be very specific about things that you don't already know. OK, great. So I'm going to repeat that. What you were saying was that it's difficult because you've got to explain things that you don't already know about what are you going to be using it for. And in many instances, if you don't know those things, how can you answer the question? So um, let's just put, what will you use it for? Did I capture that? Give me a thumbs up from the back or, or down if I, if I didn't. Anything else? Tell me more. Something obviously worries you about the process of both raising money and then ending up having money from somebody else. What's on your mind there? OK. While we've got that, anybody else want to jump in here and say there are issues that they think they have with raising money? And they're worried about it after they've got it. Go ahead. Probably having debt, like huge debt. 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 Yep. Yeah. OK. So a debt to somebody. And so you're not necessarily saying just because you've raised debt-type financing, but just the notion that you've taken money from somebody leaves you feeling in debt. Yeah, go ahead. Being rejected. Being rejected. That's a big one. I hear this a lot. People don't like the idea of getting turned down. It's not only difficult personally, but then it's difficult if that word gets out. And then you, know, you wonder whether, for example, you are going to be successful. Let me give you some good news on that one right away. Some of the best businesses got rejected all over the venture community. Google, Amazon, I could go on. I mean, it's just a long list. Uh, and personally, as an entrepreneur, rejected many, many times. So we have to get used to that one. But we'll talk about how do we avoid you getting rejected, too. All right, that's a good start. So what I want you to know is that this is a very obvious thing to say. If you don't know, then you're not ready. In other words, it's worth you taking the time to get yourself comfortable with these issues about accountability or who's going to have control or whether you really feel like you're going to be indebted to people. You've really got to get through those, both at an emotional and other level. So um, I'm going to just jump to asking Katie to, to get involved here for a second, because she deals with this all the time. How do you encourage entrepreneurs to get over those kinds of things? Just give us your sense of that for a second. OK, I think that's actually one of the hardest things and I think I've seen entrepreneurs face that it's at every level of funding. So the first money you take, but I think the same question comes up with every dollar you take. So let's say you're on your third round of funding, you still have entrepreneurs that go, oh my God, if I take 20 million, that means I have to sell this company for 200 million or no one will be happy with me. And that's a lot of pressure. I think that pressure you feel at every single stage and so I just try to talk people through that and feel them through that. Like, OK, is that what you want for your life? Are you, are you trying to go big? Or are you trying to have control over your operation? And I try to suss that out with people. And if you can figure that out, then you kind of know the right capital to take. And sometimes that's just customer capital. Go sell something, right? That gives you a ton of control as an entrepreneur. It gives you a lot of different outcomes that you can 
get to. And sometimes you're working with an idea where there's absolutely no way. You, you have to face the fact that to pull off your idea, you must raise outside capital, unless you were born incredibly rich, and then good for you, right? But most of us weren't, and so we've got to get over that. So it's really about like parsing what your idea is, what that opportunity is, and then what happens if you don't raise that capital? Will you lose that? And it's usually when I get into that moment with entrepreneurs where it's like, sorry guys, that's gender neutral. You have to face the fact that this space is gonna move really fast. You have to hire a lot of entrepreneurs. The only way to do that is with a lot of capital. And so you just gotta jump off the cliff and say, I'm losing control, but I have a big opportunity ahead of me. So that's, those are kind of some of the mind games that I play with people to get them through you know, where to go, and then what kind of capital to take. Perfect. Is that enough? Okay. Perfect. And so what's so great about this is two things. First of all, you've just met a person, I couldn't tell you, a better person to get over this issue of being afraid. <laughs> Katie's awesome to talk to. Not every VC can be as wonderful as Katie to have those discussions. But honestly, you can hear the dialogue, and it's the important dialogue. And here are the reasons you might get to a no for yourself. First of all, you have no need. I love that Katie put right up there this notion of customer capital. If you can raise money by selling stuff, that is the only money that really matters, is what the customers actually bring you. Even the venture guys will admit this to you. Their checks are really the worst checks for you to take compared to customer capital. So getting money that way is great. So if you have no need, because you can go you know, start selling stuff and bootstrap your business, do it. You know, I will tell you, the first business I built was to $26 million without a single dollar raised from anybody else. And it was highly profitable. And then I screwed it all up by raising a lot of money. So you can come talk to me about how badly wrong things can go, because I did it. Uh, the other thing is, if you have this risk aversion, which you know, Katie was teasing out there, of giving up your lifestyle or your control of things, then you're not ready. And that's OK. There's nothing wrong with that. And then things like, for example, assessing what Katie was getting at, whether you've really got the potential for something big. If you have, great. But if you haven't, that's OK. If you're enjoying it and it's, it's a fit for you. So these might all be reasons that you don't. And then the last one, which is often very important here, is there are a lot of people here who are doing, for example, not-for-profit or social ventures, but they want to fund in a different way. And that's just fine, too, with research. But we will we'll try and address that tonight because people ask about it a lot. Mm -hmm.